beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Tom was the tank engine was puffing was at a station with James. They were watching the new movie theater that was going to be in the Far Har station. But then Percy the small engine arrived. Hello, Thomas. Hello there, Percy. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to trade jobs with you. Um, okay. What? I'm gonna take the abandoned line. Percy, why are you taking the ab abandoned line? Because so I can test how the track is bumpy. Percy, the track is really bumpy. If you go there, that means you will get bumped. Don't end up like how Thomas did, said James. James, stop remembering that. And how did you know about that? I heard you and Sir Topham had talk about it. James, if I see you in this episode one more time, I'm going to kick your Thomas, don't say that. You know this is a children's show, right? Well, yeah, duh. Okay. Sorry, kids and parents, teenagers, whatever. Now, if you excuse me. Ding! I got to work at the abandoned track. Percy, don't go on that line. Too late! And off Percy went. Well, I told him not to go, but he never listens. Right, James? You can say that again, Thomas. Meanwhile, Percy the small engine was still chuffing on the line. Gee, Wilders, I don't know why Thomas said I couldn't go here. Everything looks fine. But then, he saw a set of points up ahead. So Percy went on the line. Careful, Percy, said his driver. But it was too late. No! Dun, 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 dun. said Percy. I'm stranded. And he was. Oh dear, I am a silly engine. Driver, said Percy. Did you record it? Yes, I did, said his driver. You want to look at it? Sure. See, Percy, I told, Thomas told you not to go on the bumpy track. I'm sorry. I wish Thomas was here. Meanwhile, Thomas came on the line Percy was on. He was wondering if he didn't get bumped. But then Thomas saw him. <gasps> he was on the bumpy track. So Thomas decided to check on him. When he did, he saw that Percy was bumped from from wheel to footplate. But then, before the two engines could say anything else, they heard a whistle. Wah wah! <gasps> it's James. He's here to help me. That's what you think. But Percy was right. James was here. And he followed Thomas and Percy. So James went on a siding. And he stopped. Thomas told you not to go there. But you didn't listen. 
James, just help him. No, I'm not going to help an engine who didn't listen to, to their friends. Plus, Percy is derailed on the bumpy track. He didn't do it all by himself. But when Percy tried to move on the bumpy track, he just got derailed. And, and his wheel spun to make him move. He was trying to get out forwards and backwards, but his wheels just spun on the track. Please, James, please help him. Okay, Thomas, but don't say I warned you. Dude, James got out of his siding and he pushed the breakdown train to Percy. So that way, he could put Percy back on the tracks. So first, James took Percy's cars. And put it in the sidings. Ah. There. Percy's mail cars are all set. Now, time for the hardest part in my life. So strong wires were attached to Percy and James. Are you ready? Heave! James tried to pull as hard as he can. Wheel turn by wheel turn, James moved. And moved and moved. At last, James got Percy back on the track. But then there was trouble. James was pulling so hard that... <coughs> James couldn't move. What happened, James? Said Percy. My safety valve burst. Don't worry, James. I'll pull you back to the station. And I will take the breakdown train and my cars. So Thomas was coupled up to James. And Percy was coupled up to the load. The bumpy track was mended, and together, the three friends went home. The end.